Thank you for joining this lesson. Subscribe to Shifting Grades. Then we are going to check a question here. The equation of a straight line. We are told that a two line, L1, whose equation is here, and L2, whose equation is here, intersect at a point A. Find the coordinates of A. Finding the point of intersection of two lines, we just solve the equations simultaneously. And try, trying to solve them simultaneously, we can express the equation of L2 in terms of x, so that we may solve using the substitution method, such that from equation 2, x equals to 20 minus 3y. Because when we take 20 to the other side, it becomes positive, and 3y becomes negative, so that we remain with x alone to the left-hand side. Therefore, where we have x, in the first equation now, we replace with this. And the first equation will be 2y minus 3. Instead of x, we are having 20 minus 3y minus 6 equals to a 0. So here we can have 2y minus 60 plus 9y. When we try to open by 3, negative through minus 6 equals to 0. So here we can group the y together such that 11y, the negative 66, negative 6 becomes negative 66, and we can take it to the other side to become positive 66, such that y equals 2. When we divide 11, 66 with 11, we get 6. Therefore, because we've gotten y, we can get x by substituting here, such that x now equals to 20 minus 3 into y. And this will give us 2 because we have 20 minus 18. So if x is 2 and y is 6, then the coordinates of a can be expressed as 2, 6. So that is the coordinates of a. We solve two equations simultaneously to get a point of intersection of the two lines. And that line L is perpendicular to L2 at point A. So it is passing, L2 is, L3 is passing through A and is perpendicular to L2. Find the equation of L3 in the form y equals to mx plus c, where m and c are constants. So here, we can first of all arrange equation of line 2 in the form y equals to mx plus c. So trying to arrange this equation, we will have 3y equals to negative x plus 20, such that y equals to negative a third x plus 20 out of 3. So now the coefficient of x gives us gradient. So the gradient of, we can call it m2 because it is for line 2, m2 will be negative 1 out of 3, which means the gradient of line 3 is going to be 3, such that when the two gradients are multiplied, they give us a negative 1, since the two lines are perpendicular to one another. Therefore, with gradient, and that the line is passing through point A, then we can let another point B, x, y, and we express this gradient in terms of the two coordinates to get the equation. Therefore, we can say the gradient of 3 equals to y minus 6 divided by x minus 2, such that when we cross multiply, y minus 6 will be equal to 3x minus 6. And here we shall have y equals to 3x. When we have negative 6 plus 6, they will cancel out. Therefore, we will have y equals to 3x as the equation. Finally, we are given a part here whereby we are told another line, L4, is parallel to L1. When the line is parallel to L1, then it means they have the same gradient. So we can express L1 in terms of y equals to mx plus c. Therefore, L1 will be 2y equals to 
to y equals 2. When we take negative 3 to the other side, it becomes 3x. Then negative 6 becomes 6. Such that now we can say y equals to 3 out of 2x plus 3. Because gradient of line 1 is equals to 3 out of 2, then gradient of line 4 is going to be gradient of line 4 is going to be the same since they are parallel since they are parallel so now with gradient and that m line 4 passes through negative 1 3 then we can let another point x y and we express this gradient to get the equation of m4 or line 4 so 3 out of 2 equals to y minus 3 and x minus minus 1 which becomes x plus 1 so cross multiplying 2y minus 6 equals 3x plus 3 such that we can remain with 2y equals to 3x plus when we take negative 6 to this side it becomes 9 therefore y equals to 3 out of 2x plus 4.5 or 9 out of 2. 9 out of 2. Because we cannot have fractions and decimals on the same expression. So we can have y equals to 1.5x plus 4.5 as the equation. Or y equals to 3 out of 2, which is 1 and a half x plus 9 out of 2, which is 4 and a half. So now, the y-intercept is always given by this constant here. In the format y equals to mx plus c, we usually say that c equals to the y-intercept. Therefore, y-intercept of the fourth line will be given by 4.5 or 4.5. If it is written as a coordinate, it will be 0, 4.5. And the x-intercept, we usually say that at the x-intercept, y equals to 0. Therefore, we can have y being equal to 0. y equals to 0. So that we may get x-intercept. Because at x-intercept, y is 0. Therefore, you can say 0 equals to 1.5x plus 4.5. And this can make us bring the y, the, the 4.5 to this side such that 1.5x equals to negative 4.5 and by dividing 4.5 with 1.5 we will get negative 3 so x equals to negative 3 and if expressed as a coordinate then it will be negative 3 0 since at the x intercept the value of y is always 0 we are saying that the y-intercept can be expressed as a coordinate as 0, 4.5, since at the y-intercept, the value of x is always 0. So that is how we solve the equation. And uh, I want to encourage people to continue sharing this link and subscribing to Shifting Grades. Thank you.